Hello guys, good evening. Welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona. Welcome. How are you today, guys? Hello. All good? Fantastic. Hi. Thank you, Miria, for being here. Julia, Lourdes, and Gabriela. All right, guys. So today we're going to start a new class. All right. We're going to start also a new unit. And uh, we will be working with unit 0. 0.0. Okay. But before that, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I worked on Saturday, but it was very well on Sunday. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. That was Julia, right? Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Julia. What about the rest? Did you guys have a good weekend? Yeah. Yeah, I had bit. a good weekend. I went to with family. I went with my family, my trip family, to La Ruta de las Flores. Oh, nice. that's nice. Nice, fantastic. Hey, Rodrigo, good to see you. Hey, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you, sir. So, hey. guys, listen up. Today we have, uh, up to now, we have two more weeks. This week and the next one. As a friendly reminder, we have to complete the uh, midterm exam. All right, mm -hmm. have you been working on it? No, yet. Not yet? No, yet, teacher. All right, so I see that media has, she's nodding. This movement, this movement of the head guys is called nodding. So media nodding? is nodding. Yes, nodding. when you agree with your head, you're nodding. Can you repeat, teacher? Yes, when you agree, when you do this, you are nodding. Mm -hmm. So when you agree with your head. Nodding. All right. So let's get down to business, guys, to do whatever we came here to do. And let me go ahead and share it with you. So ready with me, please. Lesson objective. Everyone, everyone, I want to hear you. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. All right. Very good. So... By the end of this section, participants will be able to use present on real conditions with unless, only if, and even if. Go. So, By the end of, the end of this section, participants will be able to use present real conditions with unless, only if, and even if. Unless, only if, and even if. All right, very good. Let me see you, Rodri. Can you help me out, please? And read. Hello? Could you please help me and read it? By the end of this section, participants will be able to use present on real, conditional, with unless, only if, and even if. And even if, all right. Very good. I understand that you were having some issues reading, so I appreciate the effort. Okay, perhaps because of the screen. All right, now let's get it started, guys. Let me go ahead and mute my phone because otherwise you're gonna hear it ringing in the whole class and that's not good. Here, let's go ahead and read it and, and listen to the, watch the video. Mute your microphone, please. I were about to talk about present and real conditionals with unless, only if, and even if. Even if. Get ready. Present and real conditional with unless, only if, and even if. Unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued lying about it. All righty guys. So we're gonna try to cover these one by one so we get the hang of it. Do you know what is the meaning of to get the hang of it? Again? To understand them. Uh-huh, to understand, to know what to do. Like, 
back to get the hang of it. Agarrarle la onda, pretty much. So, um, unless clauses, guys, include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. Um, let's work with this one. I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. Who can help me saying this in Spanish? Yo no le di al banco a menos que fuera una suma mayor. Ok, yo no le dijera o yo no le... ¿Qué diría? Yo no le diría, ok, we can use that. A menos que fuese... All right. Una suma, una cantidad mayor, una suma mayor. Exactly. And the next one, I would keep it a secret unless my co-worker continued lying about it. Who can help me with the Spanish on that one? Yo podría mantener el secreto a, men, a menos que mi, que mi compañero eh, continuara mintiendo sobre eso. Mm -hmm. Continuase. In this, continuase. In this expression, uh -huh, we can use continuase, fuese, hubiese, etc., etc., etc. Okay. All right. Very good. So, who can give me an example of something super common about this? Let's try to keep it in real life. Okay. So, for example, how would you say, no renunciar a mi trabajo a menos que tuviese uno mejor? I don't left. Let's keep the structure right here. I, I don't write I I wouldn't quit my job unless I have a new one. Unless I have or unless I had? I have. Uh -huh. If you notice, guys, this is not in the base form. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I wouldn't quit my job unless I had another one or a better one. How do you say... Um, let me see. Me, me fuese del país a menos que mi situación mejorara. Let's keep it here. I didn't left my country. Me fuese. Me fuese. Uh -huh. I would leave the country unless my situation improved. All right, say it with me. I would leave the country unless my situation improved. I would leave my country unless my situation improved. I would leave my country unless my situation improved. Very good, very good. How do you say me casara a menos que pasara una catástrofe? I'm sorry, teacher. In Spanish, is me casaría. Is the the the, uh -huh. the right word, the right form. Me casaría, all right? Yes. Me casaría a menos que pasase un desastre. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, my, by the I way, will get I married. Would, uh, I would get married. Uh -huh. Unless... A disaster happened. Unless a disaster happened, correct. And by the way, my, my girlfriend, soon to be wife, is in the next room listening to me. So, <laughs> you know, I, I like to play with fire, you know. You are in problems. I like to play with fire. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. All right. You are a fighter. Very good. So, guys, this is what I wanted to do. We're going to be working, try to keep it conversational, right? But I wanted to try to get this structure super clear. So we're going to be working in groups. Okay. In groups, I wanted to please give me two examples using I wouldn't and two examples using would. Okay. How many examples in total? Eight. Four. Four, four, four. Two examples using wouldn't and two examples using would. Is it clear? Yes, it is. Yes? 
All right, so I'm gonna open the, the, the breakout rooms right now, and I'm gonna give you four minutes, okay? You ready? There we go. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Invites have been sent. Two and two, please. Two with wood, two with wooden, following the same pattern. There we go. So, Evelyn, we are just missing you to accept the invites. There we go. Okay. If I wouldn't study in English, I, study in English. I will I will be watching TV right now. Let's let's try to keep the structure. Okay. Literally, it's about repetition. I'm sorry. Um, I was um, studying English. I will be watching TV. If I wasn't studying in, okay. Remember, right now you're using if. Let's if. go ahead and focus on the um, <clears throat> on the sentences. For example, I would or I wouldn't. Is it kind of confusing? No, it's because I remember a song. Excuse me, I, I, I follow the songs and... No, I can tell. I can tell you love music and that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. Uh, for example, in, in the Beatles, they say, if I were you, I realized something. Exactly. But that'll be a, a different structure. Okay. Right now, what we have to do is uh, pretty much follow the same sequence the sentence we got. So if you have, I would tell the bank unless ah, okay. a large amount. So we gotta use the same. Maria wouldn't study English unless it were necessary. Just give it an, an example. Okay. It's like I will be watching TV right now if I wouldn't if I wasn't Studying English? I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I, I'm confused right now. Keep it in the base form because you're adding ing and that's where the confusion happened. Okay. Um, and guys, please go ahead and help media because I see. I have an example. Okay, go ahead. I will read more. If I didn't watch okay. so much unless, TV, unless, 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 unless I didn't watch. Okay. Okay. Good. You're getting it. Always follow the same structure. Okay. 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 Thank right. you. Two and two. Let me check another group. Okay. okay. How are you doing, guys? Hi, teacher. Hello. Did you get all of the examples already? Yeah. A few. A few. All right. Let me let me hear some with wooden, please. I wouldn't leave the country unless I had a better job opportunity. Okay, fantastic. Another one with wood. I would or wouldn't. Wood. Or wood. I I would buy a car if the price. Unless okay. remember that we gotta keep the structure. Okay, okay. I I would I would buy a car uh -huh. unless um unless my my salary improve okay 
Give me a second. I wouldn't buy a car. I would buy a car unless my salary improved. It would be the opposite. I wouldn't buy a car unless, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. Unless. I would buy a car unless my salary decreased, for example. Decreased, oh, okay, okay. So, okay. compraría un vehículo a menos que mi salario disminuyese. Got it? Or, or the price of the, the car? Aha. Uh -huh. Good. You have the you have the uh, the idea. I, I will buy a car unless the price of the car decrease. I will buy a car. In this case, it will be the opposite. I would buy a car unless the price of the car increased. Compraría un vehículo a menos que el precio subiera demasiado, right? Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay. But good, good. I like that you're using the structure properly. All right, guys, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're trying to get Julia all of the participants back. Hello, my internet is bad. I lost the connection. Uh, don't worry. I appreciate you're here doing your best. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So we are just missing a few a few students. In the meantime, from the first group, let's go ahead and share the two sentences with wood that you have, please. Nidia's group. You were with Julia and who else, Nidia? Yes, but I lost my connection. I didn't practice with things. Okay. What are your examples? Type them in the in the in the chat, please. Uh, okay. Um, I will go to celebrate on Friday unless it wasn't too crowded. Too crowded. Good. I would go out and celebrate. Next Friday. You have to go next Friday because you you have to pay. Oh yeah, you have yeah. to get paid. Yeah. Right. I would go out and celebrate on Friday unless it's too crowded. There you go. I would go out and celebrate on Friday unless it's crowded. Okay, good job, good job, guys. Now give me an example using the negative one, please. Your group, Nidia. It can be you or another member of your group. Okay. With negative? The rest of the teams, guys, start remembering your, your examples because I'm going to be asking for example. So, Nidia, Julia, and who was the other one? Evelyn, I think. But I don't see Evelyn. All right, she might, she might have lost the connection. Uh, yes. Happen. All right. So in the meantime, uh, Rodrigo's group. Who was your group, Rodrigo? Uh, a few examples. Okay. Um, I I was confused uh, uh, in on on the use of of wooden and wooden wooden. All right. Wooden. I, I I need I need more more examples. All right. Very good. So, guys, give me an example, please, with wooden. Okay. I wouldn't eat so much unless it was other thing that pork. Unless? It if. was other thing that pork. I wouldn't eat so much. Unless it was other thing that pork. It were? Uh huh. It were chicharrones. So you do uh, like them? them. You do like them, or you don't like them? I love them. Ah, okay, very good. So in this case, I think I have it here in the chat. I wouldn't eat so much unless it were pork. Excuse me. 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat so eat much them. unless it were pork. Okay. Okay. Now, I think that the main confusion right here, guys, is the, the game. Let's remember something. Unless is a menos que. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Yes. Yo no comiera tanto a menos que fuese cerdo. Right? Eso significa que normalmente ella no comiera. But uh, I, I said, yo no habría comido tanto uh -huh. si no hubiese sido cerdo. Uh -huh. Okay, so that means that you did, ate, you did eat a lot. I ate a lot because it was pork. Exactly. So yes. let's go ahead with another one. How do you say... Uh, now, but this is the thing, guys. This is present for unreal condition. Remember that this didn't happen. It's an unreal condition. It is a hyper... Hypothetical situation. Hypothetical situation, right. It doesn't mean that it did happen. So let's say, um, Mario, help me out because I'm running it down. Mario wouldn't, give me a verb, any verb. Hello. Uh -huh. Well, not, not, not you, Mario. I'm using nah. you as, as an example. Oh, okay. Mario wouldn't. Give me a, 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 a verb, please. Buy. Mario wouldn't buy what? A cell phone. A cell phone. Unless. There was a big discount. Okay. Unless there was a big discount. There were. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, if you use only. There were. There were a big discount. Because we're talking about hypothetical situations. And when we are using conditionals, this is unreal. Unreal conditional. We use where, no matter what. All right. Is it clear, guys, with wouldn't? I think that Ricardo. Oh, Rodrigo, is it clear now? Yes, I do. I understood. Yes, it is. All right, very good. So remember, guys, this is real conditions with unless. Let's go ahead and use if clauses, all right? I'm going to share the screen with you. Share with sound. There we go. Only if clauses stress the condition for the result. I will keep it a secret only if I liked my co-worker. All right. So this is it. Um, I need a volunteer for you to say it um, in Spanish, please. Lo mantendría en secreto solo si me agradara mi compañero. All right. All right, now I'm back. Sorry, I was sneezing. I a little bit of allergy. All right, very good. So, how do you say, um, what is the meaning of only if? Solo si. Solo si, exactly. So, that means that we are stressing, we are highlighting the condition for the result. Can anybody give me an example, please? I think I can use the same example I I had with the unless. All right, let's give it a try. I wouldn't take that pill uh, unless, no, only if a doctor gave, gave them for me. Because All right. but in this we have to use affirmative. Uh -huh, exactly. In this one, we're going to change that one instead of wouldn't to use affirmative. So try to say it again. I like uh, it. But affirmative. Yes. I would take. No, it not make sense. My sense. It doesn't make sense. 
No. Say it with me. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. All right, very good. So how do you say iría contigo solo si me invitas? O me invitas. I will go with you only if you invite me. Invited me. Invited, invited me. Right. Invited. So with the verb exactly. the 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 is always in the past. Highlighting the fact that it's a condition, okay? So how do you say um, te compraría un celular solo si salieses bien en las notas para los hijos ahí que no han marcado. I would buy a cell phone. I would buy it's... you a cell phone. We are missing the object. I would buy okay. you a cell phone. I could buy you a cell phone only if you have good notes. <laughs> Great. Good grades, correct. Good grades. Good grades, correct. Anybody else? Give me an example, please. Okay. I will read that book only if I had uh, new glasses. There you go. Very good. Very good. Excellent example. Anybody else? I will go to the doctor only if you accompany me. If you... Me yeah, accompany me? Campaign, but if you went with me, for example. Okay. So we can use the past tense. Good. good. That was pretty, right? Yeah. Good job, Freddy. All right. I think this one is simpler than the previous one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's say Federico, example, please. Okay. I uh, would we'll drink vodka only if there were anything in it. I would drink vodka only if there were anything else. There were. There weren't. There weren't anything else. Uh -huh. si no hubiese nada más. Okay, very good. Or you can drink water as well. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You can, drink you can drink whatever you want. All right, fantastic, guys. Any question with this structure? Teacher, that could be another example. I will go to see that movie in the cinema only if the trailer was interesting. If the trailer were interesting, yes, you can use it. But you're not going to use will, you're going to use would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Good job. Good job. Good job. Anybody else, guys? Any doubt about this? Uh, an example of negative form? Normally, you don't use a negative because you are using... You need a condition for something to happen, not for something not to happen. So normally you would use it in an affirmative way. With only if. With only if, correct. Okay. Because you would say, yo fuese solo si tal cosa. But normally you wouldn't say, yo no fuese solo si tu cosa. It is trembling? Okay. Yes, 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 it is. Okay. That's Salvador, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I understood. Now, if for some of you there's some danger, guys, if for alguno de ustedes hay una situación de peligro, tiene que levantarse por los niños o algo así, I totally understand. If not, let's keep on practicing. Okay. All right. Okay. Fantastic. So, even if, give me an example about earthquakes, please, with this structure. Well, what? Uh -huh. I will go to live in Chile only if uh, there were no so much earthquakes. Okay, so that means that in Chile there are a lot of earthquakes, right? And really great earthquakes. Okay, understood. All right, guys, do me a favor. Four minutes break room let's go ahead and share if you have any doubts I wanted to help each other and I will be visiting the the rooms one by one okay, okay. now it's about producing producing we have classes for speaking and this is a class for you to produce a structure over and over again because you can only practice and improve well I'm sorry you can only improve if you practice that's it all right okay so let's go ahead and open the break rooms and please, 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 please type 
your examples in the chat. Okay. Okay, type your examples in the chat, please. Let's get ready. Okay. Invite sense. We got four minutes, then we come back here. Gabby? There we go. So let me work on this group. All right, guys, I'm here in case you need any help. Okay, let's see. I would keep at home only if it were something interesting to see on TV. Good, I liked it, but I would use stay. I would. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would stay at home. Mm -hmm. Um, I would buy a car only if I had the money in cash. Good, good example. Very good. Ah, uh, continue, continue producing, guys. Remember, the more examples, and make sure you type them in the chat. Ah, uh, continue, guys. I only run at night. I at night. If is it not raining? Okay, let say it again. Let me let me check something. I I only run at night. If is it not raining? Oh, okay. Let, let me help you with the structure right there, because my recommendation is for you to use the same, the same sentence in order for it to create them. I would run at night only if... Only if, okay. It weren't raining. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Say it again, please. I, I only run at night. I would. I would. I, I would... I would run at night uh -huh. if only I don't, if only if uh, no, I don't remember only uh, only if it weren't raining only if it weren't 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 Raining. Raining. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Obviously, you, you can switch them, right? I mean, you can switch the classes, but that's not what we're doing right now. So you can get the, the structure there. Okay. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So let me go ahead and check another group. Make sure you type your answers in the chat. Okay. okay. But continue producing in the meantime. We'll still have one minute. Okay. okay. Ah, pay or pay? Pay. Pay. I have to pay too much. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Teacher. Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, no. Teacher. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, go ahead. Remember, I'm here to help. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I will sleep all Sunday unless i have to work good job i would sleep the whole sun mm. yeah it's better to say the whole sunday i would sleep the whole sunday todo el oh. domingo. Uh -huh. but remember here we go with the with the confusion i would sleep the whole sunday only if 
I didn't have to work. Solo si no tuviera que trabajar. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, very good. Let's go okay. back to the main chat. Okay. 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 All right, let's bring everybody back to so this group. Thank you guys for being here already. Let's call the rest. All righty, guys. So thank you very much for writing down the, the messages on the chat. Let's go ahead and double check. I would buy a car. I would buy a car only if I had the money in cash. Is that correct? I don't see that. <laughs> no. I would buy a car only if I had the money in cash. Is that right? Is that correct? What only do you think? Buy what? I would buy a car only if I had the money in cash. If I have. Uh -huh. If I had. Is that correct? Yes. I so. mm -hmm. Yes, it is correct. Next one. Correct. I would stay at home only if it were something interesting. Oh, there we miss the interesting. I would stay at home only if it were something interesting to see or to watch on TV. Yes, that's good. Fix the interesting. I would travel with you even if or only if. I think we can fix this. Julia, what was the idea on that one? Yo viajaría contigo. Uh -huh. Incluso si yo pagara o demasiado. Pagara demasiado. Okay, very good. Si yo tuviera que pagar. That would be even if I had to pay a lot. So let's not. I like the idea of you going to the next one, but let's go ahead and, and double check something, guys. If you notice, when I asked about the uh, only if clause, everyone said that it was under, understood, right? But when the time comes of producing, that's exactly why I'm asking you to type them. Because when you have to practice, here's where the, uh, the language barrier affects the vocabulary effects, grammar effects, and that's why I want to get it done. Do we have any questions with only if? Nope. No. I said, what's the water clear? <laughs> <laughs> so if I pick someone randomly right now, you will be able to give me okay, a- Okay, I agree, sound. I agree. How do you how do you say uh, ruleta rusa? Sure. That's a good question. <laughs> I agree. Okay, let me go ahead and 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 cover my <laughs> my eyes. Let me cover my eyes. One, two, three, four, five. I got ten participants. Julia, give me a number. One to ten. Yeah. Five. Five. One, two, three, four. Media. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, democracy media. Uh huh. Media, give me an example, please. Using only if. Uh -huh. Lydia? I would have a pet if I had a bigger house. Only if I would have a pet. Only if I have a bigger house. Only if I had. I have, yes. Uh -huh. A big house. Very good. All right, next. This one, guys, is Russian roulette. Yes. Roulette Rusa. But there's another one. 
There's another one. I'm trying to find out. The Wheel of Fortune. No. Mm -hmm. No. I know it because normally I have I have seen it in movies where they are pretty much playing with a gun. So <laughs> I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll try to find out before the class finishes. All right, guys. The next one. Let me go ahead and share this real quick. And as a homework, I wanted to please give me five examples of each. Everything we do today, five examples. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and share. Five examples of each. Even if clauses are followed by unexpected results. Even if you were really broke, I would return the extra money to the bank. All right. So, as you can see, these are totally unexpected results and uh, on real condition. Could you say it in Spanish, please? Any break, personal idea? Even if I were really broke? Si yo realmente... Estuviera acabado. Estuviera quebrado, sin ti. No puedo ser en quiebra. Si yo no regresar el dinero, el dinero extra al banco. Yeah, but even if. What is the meaning of even if? Aún sí. Aún a pesar sí. de. Aunque estuviese, por ejemplo, even if I really, if I were really broke, aunque estuviese en quiebra. But in quiebra is like more bankruptcy, but that's for, for businesses. Well, people can do bankruptcy too. So even okay. if I were really broke, aunque... Acabado. Aunque estuviese así acabado, devolvería el dinero extra al banco. So that means a very honest person. Okay. Would you do it? Okay. If this were yes. a situation, would you do it? It depends if I am really broke. I will think. You you will think about it. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're like, oopsie! I didn't know. Let me pay. Let me pay the electricity, and then I'll see. All right. Very good, guys. So try to give me some examples here. How do you say? Um, aunque estuviese cansado, estudiaría inglés en la noche. Mm -hmm. Even if I were tired, I remember that is I would. That's, that's the contraction. I, I would study. Even study. if I was tired, I study English at night. Good. I will study. Even I will study. I I, even if I were. Even remember that in conditionals we use where instead of was. Okay, thank you. Regarding even, the subject. Even if I were tired, I will study English at night. There you go. No. Let's just work tired. 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 Let me see. Let me see. Just just read it right now. Tired. 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 Very good. Very good. With this one, we got to be careful with the D at the end because if, if I say, aunque yo fuera, aunque yo estuviera bien llanta, <laughs> my final sounds are very important. Tired. 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 All right. Every, everybody, please keep silence. All right. I'm going Tired. To Keep silence right tired. now. I'm gonna say cansado. Tired. Tired. Now I'm gonna say it faster. Please keep silence. Tired. 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 Slow tired. 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 Let me get closer here so you can see. Tired. 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 So look tired. at this. Tired. 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 My tongue tired. is at the back tired. of my front teeth. Tired. 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 Mm -hmm. tired. Now, if you say janta, you're gonna say, and look at my mouth, please. Look at my image. Mm. Tired. 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 Look at tired. the mouth position. Tired. 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 
Now let's go back to cansado. Tired. 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 Very good. So guys, that's a little bit of articulation. If you ever want to improve your pronunciation, um, all of you, you have to work with articulations. You gotta pay attention how they do it and try to repeat. All right, guys, so listen up. How do you say, um, aunque me estuviera muriendo, fuera a trabajar? I would work. I would go to work. Very good, very good. How do you say, aunque estuviese, o aunque estuviera, aunque estuviera muy enfermo, well, aunque estuviera muy enfermo, iría a... Hiciera la limpieza en la casa. Even if I were very sick, uh -huh. I, I, I would make, make the house or... You can... I will, I will clean the You can house. clean the house. Mm -hmm. I will clean the house. Even if I were really sick, I would clean the house. All right, guys, you know the drill, four minutes, groups, accept the invite. And... Just one question. You Go can ahead. use this one in a negative form. Even if I were tired, I wouldn't miss something. Yeah, you can. This one, let me see. Tired. Even if I weren't your friend, I would tired. lend you the money. Yeah, you can say it with even if I were or even if I went. You can use negative. Okay, thank you. All right, fantastic. So, thank you. So, um, let's go ahead and go to the break rooms <clears throat> and uh, type as many examples as you can in the chat. All right, four minutes. Let's do it. Accept the invite. Okay. There we go. All right, so we got Julia and I don't know what, what participant is, Huawei P20 Lite. So you can accept the invite. Julia, you there? All right, just in case you're having internet connection issues, I'm gonna go ahead and check someone else's room, all right? Try to join as soon as you can. Tire, I will make some exercise. More exercise. Do. Do exercise. Do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even if I were tired, I will do more exercise. Mm -hmm. Even if I were um, tired, I do more exercise. Good. Even if I had a very heavy day, I wouldn't stop being grateful. Good job. I liked it with a lot of uh, positive attitude. Fantastic. I like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Make make sure you write it down. Try to type them um, on the chat. So they, okay. They all can see your oh, okay. your example. I liked it. It was pretty positive. Even if you, even if you weren't on the trip. I will enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but it was an idea. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that's right. Yes. All contexts are accepted. All right. Very good. Let me check. You're doing great. Make sure you type them in the chat, and I'll check another group, okay? Okay. Thank you. So guys, how's it going? I'm thinking in one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. That's good, that's good. I, I want to know if I can say something like, even if I were angry, I wouldn't shout to people. 
I wouldn't yell at people. Yeah, even if I were angry, I wouldn't yell or, or shout to people. Okay. Yes, you can say it. I like it. I like it. So you see, we all understand, but when it's about producing is when, when we really have to go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. Who's next? You got exactly one minute. Okay, even if I were lost, I would know where is the north. Good job. I don't know how you managed to know that, but good job. Because I don't know how to, how to do it. Good. Make sure you type in in the chat. Yes. How do you say tu compañía? Depends. You tu <laughs> compañía. What is the context? Even if I could travel a long time, I will. I were happy with your company. <laughs> you can say companionship. 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 Mm -hmm. Companionship. 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 All right, guys. Let's go ahead and go back to the main session. Okay. Time to bring everybody back. They have a few seconds. All righty, guys. So, as you were able to see, these type of expressions are are actually kind of useful. We might not use them every single day, but it's okay for you to know them because this expands your vocabulary, expands your grammar. All right. Okay. Now, as you were able to see, it's easy for us to understand structures. But what I recommend you to do is to practice, guys. It's not okay just for you to understand. What you have to look for is for you to be able to produce using the structure. All right? If not, what you're doing is not going to have the impact that it should. So as a homework, I would recommend you to do five. Five of each. So five with wood, with unless, five with wooden, unless. Five with only if and five with even if. Okay? Five, five. Okay. So 20 in total. Do your best. If you have any question, let me know when we log in tomorrow. And remember, the midterm exam is there waiting for you. You can try as many times as you want. As long as you can. Okay. Okay? Fantastic, Thank guys. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much for being a part of Inglés Corporativo one more time. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Take care. See you. Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.